It is in the heart of Africa, and in recent months, there have been waves of violence, rebellion, protest, and political turmoil. The Democratic Republic of Congo, the size of Western Europe, is ruled over by a president reluctant to lose his grip on power. A country trapped in a cycle of state-sanctioned repression and ethnic conflict. Could it be on the brink of another civil war? The DRC, once Zaire and before that the Belgian Congo, is a country cursed by its own natural wealth, sitting on expansive reserves of minerals from copper, gold and diamonds to cobalt, uranium and oil. The Congolese should be rich. The country is home to 50% of Africa's forests and one of the world's biggest river systems. The DRC has the potential to provide hydroelectric power to most of the continent. But most of its people live in extreme poverty, earning about $400 a year. About 4.5 million people are internally displaced by conflict, and another 750,000 have fled abroad. The country is also facing epidemics, including the worst outbreak of cholera in 15 years. Unfortunately, there's also an epidemic of sexual violence, most of it unreported and unaddressed, and much of it against children. Centuries of foreign interference have shaped the DRC into a turbulent nation, and against a backdrop of civil unrest, militant groups hold sway. The DRC's UN peacekeeping mission is one of the largest and most expensive in the world. Using around $650 million of the global peacekeeping budget a year. But the mission's under pressure to cut costs by $93 million, meaning it must maintain peace in the Central African giant on stretched resources. As reports emerge of unrest in the capital and renewed ethnic violence in the East, the UN estimates around $2.2 billion is needed to provide aid, a figure the Congolese government claims is overblown. While the humanitarian crisis builds, the country is suffering political pressures. President Joseph Kabila has overstayed his two terms of presidency and promised elections have so far failed to materialize. The DRC has been a long-suffering country in turmoil. And analysts warn there could be more difficult times ahead. Can the DRC find stability on its own terms? Or does it need the international community more than ever? <laughs>